In this video, we'll talk about the recording process with the APC64 in Ableton Live and some of the slightly more advanced workflow options we have on the APC64. If you're just starting your project, you might want to set your tempo with the APC64, in which case you can tap tempo with the tempo button here. Tapping four times will set your tempo. And then if we hold the tempo button down, we can actually use the encoder to adjust the tempo manually using the transport controls to stop there. Let's talk about how we're going to actually record in some musical ideas. Let's start by recording in some chords on our electric piano instrument. While I'm in either note or chord mode, I can press the record button and the APC64 will record a new clip into an empty clip slot. Let's try that now. A four bar count in. And now we're playing notes. Record again to loop that. Let's solo that to hear what we did. Okay, that sounds totally fine. Let's say I wanted to overdub a melody from the same instrument on top of these chords. I can switch over to note mode. go up an octave. And at any time, I can hold shift and press record again to go into MIDI overdub mode. Now we're recording. I was a little off on my timing there. So if you look at the MIDI notes here, I can hit undo and undo the last thing I did, which was recording that melody. Now to ensure I'm a bit more in time, I can press the encoder, and now I can hear the metronome. Shift record, and now we're in overdub recording. Even though we were listening to the metronome, my timing wasn't completely perfect. Let's go back into session view, hold the quantize button, and press the clip we were just working on, and our notes will snap into place. Also, if we hold the quantize button, the screen down here will give us some quantization options. Right now we're set to 16th notes, but we can set what grid we'd like to quantize to depending on what we're actually playing. If we hold shift and quantize, this will toggle record quantize on and off, Record Quantize is a setting that in Ableton Live, your recorded musical idea will be quantized immediately after you record it without having to manually hit Quantize. You can set the rate for the record quantization under Edit in Ableton Live and Record Quantization. Another thing we can do is duplicate clips right from the session view. Let's hold Duplicate and press the clip we'd like to duplicate and launch it. This can be useful for creating alternative musical ideas from a single loop. So let's go back into note mode. Let's go to track one. Maybe I'd like to remove the kick from this pattern. I can hold clear and press the kick. Now, in this clip we've created, there's no kick. But I can always go back to the version we duplicated it from and restore that at any time. Now let's record a quick four to the floor drum loop, but instead of having to punch in and out of recording, I'd like to just punch in and have it automatically record a single bar of music. We can use the fixed length mode for that. Pressing and holding fixed length will allow us to set the length that we are fixed to. So one bar is fine for now, but we have a bunch of other options up to 32 bars to choose from. So let's set it to one bar. Fixed length is on because the button is illuminated. Press the record button. Let's record one bar. I was a little bit off with that, so let's go ahead and do our quantize again. And just like that, we've easily recorded a one bar loop. But maybe one bar is too short, and we'd like to double that to be two bars or even four bars. To do this, we can hold shift and press the duplicate button because the shift functionality of duplicate is to double. So let's go ahead and hold that and then press the clip we'd like to double. We've doubled it to two bars. Let's double it to four bars. 
I showed off undo before, so we could undo that and go back to two bars, but let's not forget that the shift functionality here is redo. So in a lot of ways, the APC64 can keep you working on your controller rather than always grabbing the mouse. Now you might've noticed there that I adjusted the reverb and that was actually recorded as automation. If we're in the record mode, whether we're overdubbing or recording a new sound, if we have automation record turned on here in Ableton Live, we will be able to adjust parameters on the fly and record that automation.